Hello and welcome back to this new tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to use the fSpy add-on to match the same proportions of your reference. Let's get started. Okay so we're gonna be using two files. First is the program, the fSpy program. So download this one, the one with the 55 megabytes in size. And for the add-on we're gonna be using this one over here, the fSpy Blender releases this one with 5.25 kilobytes so I'm gonna put both links in the description of these two uh, programs okay so now basically we have three files we have the program the fSpy program we have the add-on and we have the reference the image reference that we're gonna be using okay so let's start with the program so go to this fSpy and now we're gonna be dragging that reference so drag your reference in example in this example I'm using the subway and make sure to turn this uh, option over here so that you can be able to see it clearly like this so now basically we have two axes we have the, the x axis and the y axis but I would like to change the y axis to the z axis so this one represent the z axis and this one over here is the x axis so let's do that I'm gonna change it to the z axis let me assign these uh, lines like this so basically try to follow some lines in your reference so in my example you can see that I found this one I'm gonna follow it and on the other side I'm gonna try to follow those bricks that brick pattern you can see that there is a pattern over here I'm gonna try to follow it like this I'm gonna do the same thing for the x-axis I'm gonna go all the way to the end here so let's do that I'm gonna put the first point here and the last point over here for the other line I'm gonna do the same thing like this okay so now we're good to go what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna be saving this file so save as and I'm gonna call it subway subway and hit save now we're gonna be taking that file into Blender but first we need to install the add-on so in order to install the add-on it's pretty simple go to edit references preferences and let's install add-on from file this one and basically we're gonna be choosing that zip file I think with the 5k yes this one so double click on the zip file this one and basically now if you search for fspy you will find it so this one import fspy projects so make sure to check this box over here and let's save the preferences like this and now we're good to go next let's import that file the one we exported with this one so I'm gonna import fspy and let's import this one double click and now everything is set in place so all you need to do is to take that uh, cube I'm gonna start with this cube I prefer to go to the Z to the wireframe mode so that we can be able to see the, through the, the cube go to the edit mode and let me drag this face over here I'm gonna be dragging it all the way to the side and taking that face dragging it all the way to the back as you can see everything uh, lined up because the focal length of the camera match the references I'm gonna drag this one over here I'm gonna insert edge loop here and another one on this level I'm gonna take this uh, face I'm gonna no not that one this one I'm gonna extrude it on the z-axis like this to this position and let's insert some edge loops first one here and the second one here next I'm gonna simply select these faces and drag them up so that you can make this uh, curve over here like this let's go back solid yeah there we go so this is the basic shape of the subway you can carry on and let let me delete these faces now we're gonna be adding that uh, mirror modifier so that we can duplicate this one on the other side so let's do that 
gonna go to this modifier and let's add the mirror modifier there we go and let's uh, add another edge loop here let's extrude those stairs gonna simply select everything like this extrude and scale on the Y like this and simply put it up and now we need to delete these faces so that we can be able to let our passengers go out of the subway there we go okay so this is the basic shape of our subway okay there we go this is the way to use the fspy program to try to match the same proportions of your reference so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'm gonna see you in the next tutorial take care